Hi, my name is Kathy Jones and today I am going to demonstrate a simple fieldwork technique using a soil moisture probe to look at the link between the lithosphere and the hydrosphere. One of these soil moisture probes has three different settings on it. You can see here it has a moisture setting, a light setting and a pH setting. Now I use this more, most often to do soil moisture using the moisture setting pushed over to the left there. And if you have a look at uh, where the needle is sitting and the gauge there, um, the soil moisture is that middle line here which goes from red to green to blue which is from dry to wet and then you can see the corresponding numbers from 1 all the way up to 10 on that scale. So the way we use this soil moisture probe is that we need to find an area of soil so I'm just going to move a little bit of this leaf litter away with my foot until we can find some soil. Then I'm going to push these probes into the ground, but just very gently because they can easily bend. So you can see I've just pushed it in a few centimetres. I've got the setting set on moist for moisture. And then if I have a look at the gauge, I can see here that it is reading two. So that means that the soil in this area is quite dry. We can visually confirm that as well. You can see that the leaf litter above seems a little bit wet, but the soil underneath here the water hasn't got down deep enough and it is quite dry. So we'd make sure we recorded our result of two on our data sheet. You could link in soil moisture and the hydrosphere with soil depth in the lithosphere and also maybe the biosphere with the tree size as well. So you could combine uh, all of these different tests together to put together a good biophysical investigation of your area.